Hey everyone, it's Dylan and we're back again for another video. This time we're going to be working on, well continuing to work on that color match table you saw us do last week. So that was the kind of that pale aqua color that we actually matched to a vase. So we're going to demold it, cut it down to size, sand it and finish it because we have to have that one delivered before Christmas which is in five days what kind of, kind of reminds me I should finish buying my gifts. Um, but that'll get delivered next week and then we've got another big walnut table we're delivering next week. But another thing we're throwing in this video is because everyone said they enjoyed seeing that kind of that nice wood joinery in last week's video. We've got some more of that. So we're, we're working on a custom end table for my mom, the owner's wife actually. It's a Christmas present for her. And it's solid walnut with some nice brass joinery. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy seeing that. You just saw Dennis take the sides off the mold for, this is the table we matched the, the vase to, the color matched one. Uh, the last thing we got to do here now is just peel it off the bottom of the table. So on our molds, this is a question we get a lot too, is what is it on the bottom? It's HDPE, it stands for high density polyethylene. It's just kind of like a white shiny plastic that the epoxy won't stick to. So we should be able to just go in with the wedge and it should pop right off. Here's that table from last week's video where we did the color match. So Ben and Spencer got this thing all sanded up today and now Ben is about to do the first coat on here. So we're gonna do the extra thin again for the first coat. For those of you who didn't see last time, that's what we're putting on. And I'll let Ben work away at this here. And I'm actually pretty excited to see this one because it's like we said, it's way different than a lot of our other colors. So I'm thinking it should look pretty good. all of you said you enjoyed last week's video where we showed some more of that actual joinery we were doing, I thought that we would put in some clips from a Christmas present we're actually making right now for my mom, the owner's wife, Brad's wife. It is a solid walnut end table that we're making for the living room and this one's kind of nice because it has some brass details on there so instead of just doing regular wood joinery we've actually pinned it together with some solid brass dowels and one thing that you'll see in this video here that we did a little differently is the wood components where they meet we've just joined those using a yellow regular wood glue but where the the metal is going to meet the wood we actually use cyanoacrylate because it's going to do a much better job bonding the wood to the metal than just wood glue wood that you just saw us assembling that more traditional style one. We're gonna be putting the first coat of finish, but we want to try out some new things on it. So we did, not new, maybe just new from what you guys have seen. We did some brass inlays on there. So the, the joinery, actually there's a tenon that goes in the leg and then we've just pinned those tenons with brass pins. So there's four pins on each leg and it's all solid Canadian black walnut and it's all sanded up to 320 grit right now. So we're going to be doing the finishing process on it. We follow the same thing, whether it's resin or solid wood. So I'm still going to start with the 1101 Extra Thin. The only thing that may be a little different here is instead of using the, the Merca to buff it in and get a nice shine, I'm probably just going to use the paper towel and buff off most of the excess because you'll, you'll notice when you're working with these products, they are a little bit easier to work with just on solid wood as opposed to the resin table. So I'll, I'll dunk this in. 
get some finish on there, and we'll just start spreading it out on the top. So now that that is all coated, I'm just gonna take one of these blue shop towels. I actually like these. They're, these towels are nicer than just regular paper towel. They tend to pick up the oil better and they're a lot softer, so you don't have to worry about scratching it. But you can just kind of fold it in four to a clean side and then use this to get all your excess off. Here's a look at the coffee table here. So you can see the, the nice brass joinery that we talked about. We've got it all sanded off now. Uh, this is just the first coat so far that's on here. So we've just got the one coat of the extra thin. Um, the top isn't attached yet. So I'll show you that comes right off. These holes, those are where the table clips are gonna go. So you saw that in last week's video we used them. Um, there's the table clips there. It's just essentially little clips that are going to hold the top on and they actually allow the wood to expand and contract properly. Uh, but we'll put two more coats on this and we'll get this in for Christmas. Probably take some pictures and show you guys in a, in a video after Christmas. Um, but I hope she likes it. It's pretty nice. And then speaking of Christmas gifts, like I mentioned earlier, I actually got to get a few finished up here. So we're going to be doing some charcuterie boards. So it's going to be one olive charcuterie board. This actually isn't the exact one. I've got, I've got it already set aside. And then two walnut ones. So uh, we also sell just the raw wood for these. A lot of you think maybe that we only sell the finished product, but we'll, we'll put a link in the description where you guys can see us where we sell these uh, unfinished. Like for example, this board is $28 unfinished. That big one's 33, um, 28, 28. So they're not super expensive unfinished. And then essentially all you'd have to do is sand them and oil them. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do that right now. Well, we got all the Christmas presents finished up here now. Uh, I got these two charcuterie boards, and there's one more, but it's just kind of a plain walnut one as well. This is olive wood, and that's the Canadian black walnut. And then on the other side of me here, we've also got the, the nice little end table for my mom all finished up. So these are all going to, to people in the family, but next week, like I mentioned, we have two deliveries for some clients. So there is actually that blue table right over there that Ben's working on right now. We're gonna be delivering that uh, second on Monday and then before that, if you guys take a quick little peek downstairs here, that's what we're also gonna be delivering on Monday. So that's Canadian black walnut all glued up. We got one more coat of finish to go. Uh, we're really excited to see our clients <laughs> reactions for these and we we're very pleased that we could get them in as well so they can have all their family there for Christmas. So that's a good feeling. Uh, but we'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy holidays.